So today's recipe is probably going to be the easiest one we do yet. It is a Scottish classic, tatty scones. So I don't know if you're like me, like, but during lockdown you ran out to panic buying for whatever reason. I've got about 50 bags of flour sitting in the cupboard. Um, don't know why, absolutely no idea why I bought so much flour. But we're going to make use of that. Dead, dead simple. Two main ingredients is potatoes. Just white potatoes, these are bacon potatoes. Um, white flour, just plain flour. And we're going to add a wee bit of salt to that. And a wee bit of butter just for mashing the tatties. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Do you know, it's weird, I'm, as I'm standing peeling these tatties, I've just had a wee flashback. Now, I get this a lot with music. I don't know if you're like me, you listen to music and it takes you back to a moment in time like that. Well, I've had a wee moment of that peeling a tatty and I've never had a piece of food bring back memories before, but this has brought me back to my childhood, peeling this tatty. And we're going to do something else, a wee add-on to this video, and we're keeping it as simple as the tatty scones. I remember cutting tatties up and peeling tatties as a wee boy, and it is tatties, and it's a tatty scone. It's not a potato scone or anything like that. It's a tatty scone, right? So I remember when I was a wee boy, I'd help my dad cutting up the chips, homemade chips. I remember the chip pan, it was called a culinaire and my mum got it from the, the, home sh the home show at the Scottish Exhibition Centre in Glasgow and this is what we would do. My dad came from that generation, my mum and dad came from that generation where there was no waste. So what we're going to do is turn these into scraps. So we'll fry these up, we're going to put these in a really hot wok um, and crisp these up and we'll have these. So whilst, whilst we wait on the potatoes to boil, we've got in the, the pot here. Thought I'd make use of this time and the leftover potato peelings um, and make some scraps. Um, so I've got them um, here in a cloth, just soaking up as much excess uh, water and moisture as possible from the potato. Just makes it easier to crisp up. Um, I've got a frying pan on. I know I said I was going to use a wok, but the wok was done and I couldn't be bothered cleaning it. Anyway, it's better using a frying pan because you've got a bigger surface area here. Um, so the potatoes touching more surface area at any given point in time. So, um, while the potatoes were boiling there, we're just going to get them until they're, they're soft and tender, and then we're going to mash them up. So, meantime, that nice and hot there, that oil, as you can see, we've just got a little splash of oil in there, not too much, we can always put more in, and it's just a vegetable oil we've put in there. Fire all that in. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to get this um, kind of fried up while that's boiling. Um, but then what you can do with it is um, just fire it in the oven to keep it warm and also helps crisp them up a little bit more and take out some of that excess um, oil that's in there that's not too greasy. And because there's nothing sexier than a man stirring a pan full of tatty peelings, I keep forgetting to say um, it, please, if you like the videos, if you want to see more and get kept up to date, please hit the subscribe button. All the support is appreciated and I absolutely love you to have you like, leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. I've no got you still that, I need to put my American accent on it. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. The potato scraps done. Um, I'm just going to get a wee sprinkle of salt, just a pinch of salt, you can see that there. Give that a season, give them a stuff, right? And we've got some black pepper here, a wee bit of black pepper. Give that a wee ground. There we go, and give that a wee boss. Now, at that point they're ready, so you can just serve them up like that. But what I'm going to do is just fire them in the oven for a little bit just to keep them warm whilst we make our tatty scones. So we've got all the potatoes boiled up now and I've got this amazing new gadget. Potato rice Watch this. Let me just put that through. All I'm trying to say, listen, it's Father's Day this Sunday, um, which is instantly going to need just for yoga. There you go. Um, Get your man one of these. This is absolutely amazing. Right, so 
If we're going to measure this out, I need to take that back out and put the scales on. So let's put that in. So we're looking for 230 grams of mashed potato. There we go. Put another one in. And that is about there with that. A wee bit over, so we're just going to take that out and put that in there. There we go, 230 grams of mashed potato. Just zero that out, and then um, we've got butter, um, plant based butter. Just grab myself a wee spoon, and into this, we're going to add 30 grams of. Butter, that's us spot on 30 grams. And I'm actually going to give that a wee mash up just now. Right, I'm just going to mash it up with a fork. Um, potato rice is absolutely amazing, honestly. If you really, really love your partner, Get them a potato ricer, it's amazing. So, mash all that up. Boom, 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 boom. And to that, make sure you've got all that um, butter incorporated. And I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt, not too much, in there. And we've got 80 grams of plain flour. Get in there. Okay, we'll mix that up. Get it easy. What we're going to do at this stage is just get our hands in and get all that mixed together. Mix a mix a mix a. It just flew onto the floor. Okay. So you can check at this point if um, you think it's too dry, you can add a bit more potato. Um, sorry, a bit more. Yeah, a bit more potato if it's too wet. Add a bit more flour. But that's it. So this is it with this dough. And it's going to give a wee light sprinkling the flour on the bunker. Does anybody else have a scotland called the bunker? So it just does. You can actually just pat that down. Uh, I do have a rolling pin. But I don't really need it. Okay, okay. And that's us, it's nice flat out. Um, so what you can do if you want that um, a nice proper shape here is get a saucer and cut around it. I love this rustic shape so we're just going to go with that. We're going to get a knife and score that down there, score that down there. Bear in mind this is a brand new worktop the house we've just moved into. So I'm just going to be very very careful here. Paneling. And what I'm going to do, um, because purely because the oil's over in the cupboard over there and I don't want to move the camera is I'm just going to put a little bit of butter in this pan um, to heat this up I'm just going to move that around, don't do this at home um, just moving that around a wee bit there so I mean you can have it as thick as, as thin as you like and saying that you don't want it too thick it's going to cook fairly quickly here um, potatoes gone I'm um, just going to get my hands a wee wash. Turned out the oil was in the cupboard that was sitting right next to me. Just the same as the spatula sitting right next to me. So we bit oil in this one. The last two here. Yeah. We've got four patty scones out this recipe, but they're four big patty scones, so no messing about. Um, Oils just get a wee bit better for cooking this, it's got a higher burning temperature so 
which is far better for that cooking this. Although the butter does add a lovely taste. They're kind of like pancakes where um, the first one's always a bit of a write off. But then you get these absolute goodies here. Simple as that. Pack scones from scratch, dead dead easy. It's going to take you just the amount of time it takes to boil some tatties and mix up with some flour and salt. Amazing. Um, we're going to have a mean review with this um, with a Scotch breakfast pack. We'll have that. It's got square sausage, black pudding, link sausage. We'll have that in the next video.